Hi! Welcome back to Gadana Tutorials. Today's video will show parents how to access their student's class notebook through Microsoft Teams. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is choose your browser. I have learned that Google Chrome is the best one for educational purposes. However, if you do not have Google Chrome, you can use any other browser. Go to the search bar and type in MDCPS. Once you come to the website, you're going to click on Students. And then you're going to click Log into Student Portal. Here you're going to use your student's login information, their ID number, and their password. If you do not have this information, please contact your child's teacher. Once you're in the student portal, you're going to scroll down and find the big orange button that says Office 365. After you click on this, you will be prompted to a new sign-in page. Here, you're going to use your child's ID followed by at dateschools.net. Once you do this, you'll be prompted to a page with a lot of different tools that you can use. For today's video, we're going to be using this purple one that says Teams. Once you're logged into Teams, you're going to go to this left panel and you're going to click on the word Teams. Here, you should find your teacher's name. Once you click on that, you have different features. The first one is Post. This is where the teacher will be posting announcements for you. The one we're going to be working with today is Class Notebook. Once you click Class Notebook, you'll be prompted to a blank page. You must click on this arrow to get the content. Once you click on Class Notebook, you will see three different tabs. You're going to click on the last tab where you see your child's name. For privacy purpose, this one will be blurred out. After you click your child's name, you will be prompted to different tabs depending on how many the teachers have put. For this teacher, she has put one that says work assignments. As you can see, all the assignments are listed here. If I wanted to complete this assignment, I will click the assignment name and then double click on the page. Class Notebook has different features that you can use when completing assignments. For this activity, we will need to draw or write our answers. To write, you must go to the button that says draw. Click on the pencil and then click the color of your choice. Once you do this, you are able to write on the document. If you have made a mistake, simply click on the eraser and erase. You do not need to press any buttons to save this. If I was to log out and log back in, my work will be saved. Now, if I cannot read, there's a special tool that will read this to me. This is called Immersive Reader. To access this, you will come to View and press Immersive Reader. Immersive Reader works in many different ways. Here, you can pick the text preferences. You can make the text bigger or you can make the text smaller. You can increase the space or you can have the space decreased. You can also pick the font of your liking. You can also pick the color theme. The second option is grammar options. 
If you want the words broken down into syllables, you can turn this on. As you can see, the word is now spaced by syllable. Parts of speech are also very important. If you want nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs, you can simply turn this on and the document will color coordinate your words. The last button is your reading preference. This is where you choose if you want to read the whole document or if you prefer a line preference. You can also turn on or turn off a picture dictionary. You can choose to translate into various languages. Now that I'm ready, I will click play. Math activity. Directions. Solve the following problems by adding. Click on draw to write your answers. Now that we're done with Immersive Reader, we're going to head back to Classroom Notebook to find another way to complete assignments. In this example, we're completing a reading activity where the students have to read a story and then answer questions. If your child has trouble typing or writing, they can use another cool feature that Class Notebook has. Simply click Insert and Audio. This will record your child's answer. For example, the first question is, what is the title of the story? Once I click audio, I can record my answer. When I'm done recording my answer, I must press stop. Here's an example of how to do this. The title of the story is Be Kind. As you can see, after pressing my stop button, my auto recording was downloading. Now it is set. If I wanted to hear this, I will click here. The title of the story is Be Kind. As you can see, I didn't have to type or draw anything. I simply recorded my answers. I can do this for every question. If I don't want to use this, I can just click over it and delete. And I can try again. This concludes our video for today. Please feel free to like and comment below. Let me know if this was helpful and what you would like to learn next. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share. This is Galdano Tutorials, signing off.